This is the iMe docking station, a prototype of our docking station system, as displayed here with the iPod. What we've done is we've taken the iPod out of the glove box, so we can display it front and center, though it does not need to be displayed front and center. It can be displayed anywhere in the car and installed anywhere in the car that there is room for it. What it does is it integrates the iPod into the system of the car as seamlessly as possible without showing any wires, and it also, also allows for charging capabilities as well in the iPod. The iPod that way was able to charge and play for as long a period as need be. Also, as you see, the iPod merely just plugs in as it is, and as you can see, we're playing right now Black Eyed Peas. It, as you can hear. Also, the other thing we've designed within the dock itself is the integration of the video as well. With the docking system as we have it set up, you are able to display the video from the iPod content as well. You can see here we're playing the music video from the Black Eyed Peas. A little hard to see on this video, but nonetheless, that's from our system right here. Also, we've included an RF remote that allows you to control the iPod as well. So you can end up going through the menu system, up, down, left, right, whatever you need to, that way you can pick the songs of your choice and continue from there. Again, it is RF rather than IR, allowing anyone in the back seat or if you're having some kind of a block party or anything else, so you know, a tailgate party with your car, you can control it from anywhere you'd like. Another design we've put into the dock itself is the allowing of interchangeability within the dock. So the consumer can go to your local Best Buy or Circuit City, have the system installed into their car, and it's the only time that they'll ever need to install any type of a integration system to their car ever again. So while this is made for the iPod itself, we have the ability to be able to switch out the dock. Now this is a prototype version, so you won't have any of this cabling right here. What you're going to end up with is a nice clean connector right here, as well as one from the dock itself. So you just nearly have to snap it on. The next demonstration, I'm going to show you as you can see, the consumer would nearly just need to buy a dock for another type of player if they didn't want to use their iPod any longer in the future. And all you need to do is simply snap on the new dock. As I said, it will be cleaner than that. For this demonstration, we're going to use the Creative Zen Vision M. Turn that on real quickly. Again, you just merely plug it in. This is a, still the same dock for the iPod that we're using for demonstration purposes, but we will design docks accordingly for the different players as need be. It also charges the unit as well, and again, it's just a matter of simply plugging it in and being on your way. What again it does is it ends up letting us have video display capabilities. Let me see if I can get a little better setting here for you. There we go. Now the video display capabilities on here, now it's something that it allows you to do that the iPod does not, is it actually just demonstrates the entire screen menu on here, unlike the iPod. So you can pick through what you want, again controlling with the remote or anything else that you would like. So let's go video here. Again you can see. And once again, we can control it with the remote as well. Pause it, play it, anything we need to do as well. Again, it's the same remote that we ended up integrating on here. The Ami docking station will allow it to accommodate for different types of remote functions, whether they be analog, serial, or anything else that we can plan for ahead of time. While the Creative Zen is playing here, and it does the video options as well, here again, we have another one that we can demonstrate to you as well. We're not limited to just those two players. We also have use another dock here. Again, I want to stress the point, this will be cleaner in the final production. You will not have this. This dock right here itself is going to be for iRivers U10 player. So if let's set the song on here. Again, we are using the iPod dock. We will design a dock specifically for each player as need be. So merely just snapping it in and turn up the volume. Simple as that. Again, that was the iMe docking station for integrated mobile electronics. It allows you to integrate all your mobile electronics into a car, wiring it one time only, and merely switching out the docks as you need be. The, the, the prototype that you saw right there is currently what we have demonstrated here, but the future version of what we're looking at is going to be actually much smaller. It's going to be this guy right here. 
As you can see, it's got a much smaller footprint than what we have and what I demonstrated in the video for you. We've gotten the electronics down pretty small right now, and that allows the consumer to be able to find some spot in their car a lot more easily since the footprint itself is much smaller. So again, whether it's going to be your iPod, your iRiver U10, or your Creative Zen player, it'll allow you to integrate any type of player that you want into the car. And again, it's video capable, so that the kids in the back seat or anyone else that wants to watch in the car itself can do that and control with the RF remote that we are going to be including in the product as well. Again, that was the IME docking station, and I'm Jonathan Sarko, CEO of GodCorp.